Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sev here. Welcome to another Duel Links video. Now today guys, we're going to be doing a couple duels in this video because I want to get some more gems before I do a uh, summoning video for you guys and I'll build up some packs, okay? But uh, we're going to take on a couple, like I said, and the first guy we're going to be taking on is this kid right here. And I guess his name is Nick. And you know, this is a place he says that we can hone our skills and get better at our dueling, you know, you know, game I guess I should say right <laughs> but let's go ahead and see how good this kid is right he has a fire water lightning deck and it's a level one um that shouldn't be too hard level one you know I'm not expecting like a blue eyes or whatever you want to you know think of you know to come out of this deck right here all right Nick let's see if we can take on the king of games right now now tell me guys do you think I should put like some music in this video because this game has such great music and dialogue that I don't really want to like you know mute out any of the sound coming from the game itself oh damn we're, we pulled Dark Magician on the first hand okay <laughs> see that's that's why I don't want to get rid of the you know the audio because that kid you know he had some great dialogue for just a random character in the game um but we got four cards already I really love the Feral Imp I remember that card okay let's go ahead and do that one 1400 defense let's, let's play a little bit safe I'm not sure how strong of uh, his monsters are. Hmm. Oh wait, I forgot that in, in my turn. I was thinking of what to do next. <laughs> I keep forgetting you actually have to say in turn. I did the same thing when I played the game in real life. See, I knew he was going to do that. Alright, 750. So he's going to take some damage right here. Wait a minute, why do we have 4,000 life points then, uh, instead of having 3,000 like we had in the beginning of the, you know, the game? That's weird. Hmm, maybe this is the norm, because I remember, like, you know, in real life, the amount of life points you had was 4,000, so I thought it was kind of weird. That's another Feral Ump? God, oh, come on. I thought it was kind of weird that we only started with 3,000 points. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy out again. We'll do another set. I want to summon Dark Magician here, and I'm just going to play really defensively right now. And, you know, we'll, we'll go into the battle phase. We'll take out his monster right there. We should have enough. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What did I do? I said attack, right? Can I not attack? I got... Huh, oh, that's weird. I got to figure that out. I thought you just, like, swiped up. But I could have been wrong. Man, I, I, I'm gonna say this again. I love that the dialogue is all voiced. La la lion. Okay. You're gonna lose even more points right now, bro. <laughs> I bet he didn't expect another feral imp. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw right there. Rahim or Rami or Rami. How do you say that? I was about to say Rahim. Um, but it decreases your opponent's life points by 300 points. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not even gonna, I might not even attack this kid. I might just play, you know, defensively the whole time. It would be cool if they had like the animations, you know, when the, uh, like field cards or magic cards are used. Uh, let's go ahead and summon our Dark Magician right now. Get rid of these, oops, oh, no, 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 I don't wanna. Yes, I wanna tribute, there we go. Confirm. Confirm. Okay. Yo, oh, that's so dope. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to the, you know, what he was saying in the animation in the very first video, but that's awesome. I'm pretty sure all the major cards have summoning animations. Um, I mean, it would be a lot to give, you know, all the monsters one, but that's pretty cool if they just have, like, the major monsters. Um, okay, so let's see if we can attack now. How? Okay. Okay, there we go. We had to swipe up. I forgot that. We had to swipe up. Believe it or not, I'm filming or recording this video in the same, you know, sitting. Um, so, you know, I kind of just zoned out, you know, after I made the video because I was, like, super hungry right there um, at the end of it. <laughs> so I kind of forget how to play. It's okay, kid. Don't feel bad. Doing pretty good. I'm surprised we don't have like a starter deck though, because I feel like this deck would be too, you know, overpowered to play right now. Why are you playing in an attack mode? You should have played defense, bro. Like, I... okay, whatever. 
Silver Fang. Okay, that brings back some memories. I remember when uh, he combined that with like the Moon Field card he used in uh, Duelist Kingdom. That was a pretty awesome move. I don't know why I said I'm not going to put him in attack mode. It really didn't matter. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to end this right now. Go ahead and take out this one. It sounds so final. He said it's over. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, man. I had to win. I have to get my points up. Thanks, Nick. I'm looking forward to a rematch. Maybe when you're older, kid. Maybe when you're older. Oh, we can save. We can save our matches in the game. That's pretty awesome. So if we have like a good like PvP match, I am definitely going to do that just in case other people want to see it. And we got D spell as our reward card. Okay, and we got ten gems, I believe. Dual assessment. I take no damage. <laughs> I didn't expect to take any, but we got no damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I look at this as a really interactive game. It kind of, because like Dokkan Battle, I love that game, but it's you don't really have to think about that. I mean, you have to look at, you know, the orb placement, but other than that, you don't really have to think. Ah, uh -huh, I lost. Looks like it's not only about attack. I should focus on monster effects too. That is true, kid. You know, do what you have to do. Um, So there's no one else in here. Can we go any further? Or can we... Okay, there we go. We just had to move to a different uh, map. Um, Let's see what this girl has. Haley, okay. Haley, if it's a duel that you want, it's a duel that you get. She sounds so confident right there. And she's using a deck called Botanical Garden Sprouts. Okay, so I'm assuming nothing but plants monsters. Hopefully she doesn't have a synchro monster. I remember uh, Black Rose Dragon. If she has Black Rose Dragon in this game... Actually, no, no, no. We're not even up to 5Ds yet. We're still we're still in, you know, Series 1 and then GX. So that's, that's all good. I don't have to worry about that. Unless they, like, sneak something up into her deck. You're going second. Why, why, is it, why does the computer always get to, you know, decide, you know, who goes first and who goes second? I should be able to choose. It's time to duel. That is a crazy hand. We got two got. Du dupes <laughs> for both monsters. Okay. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Man-eating plant. Okay, I remember that. Um, luckily, all my monsters are higher than 800 points, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna use Wattcade real quick, put him out. Get that plant out of its misery real quick. Okay, here we go, battle phase. It's not gonna be too much damage, but she will definitely fill it. <laughs> she's all surprised, but she's still, she's still laughing though. Okay, that's not funny. For some reason, I feel like, you know, this game is going to lack in spells and traps, and that is mostly just monsters that you have in your deck. Tell me if I'm wrong, you know, I, but this is probably like, you know, my second, te te technically fourth duel in this game. Why are you doing the same monster? Um, technically fourth duel in the game, but it feel, I feel like this is really nothing but monsters. Especially since I'm getting dupes on top of dupes uh, in my hand. So, like, the fact that I haven't really got any spell cards, I might not even have spell cards yet. Uh, all I know is I had that one, you know, Ra Raime, or the Lightning Storm thing that I used in the last match. Um, that's the only thing I remember having in my deck so far. Okay. Go ahead, walk hit, take that one out, and then we're going to attack, you know, directly with Silver Fang right there. Guys, what is your most, you know, you know, memorable monster that you either had in real life for a card or, like, in the show? Mine, honestly, would have to be... I love Cyberjar. Um, I used to have that card in real life, uh, and, like, it was such an awesome card to play. You know, to totally wipe the field of all the monsters, and then, you know, summon... Everyone summons monsters, and especially in Double Duels. In Double Duels, that was a crazy, crazy card to use. And then, um, I remember Morphing Jar. I think that was the one where you have to, like, get rid of your hand, and then everyone draws the same amount. I didn't have that one, but that one was like my second favorite because I loved how the, both of those cards, um... Oh, we got a spell card. I love that both of those cards kind of changed the tide of the duel. Why? I don't need a block attack right now, um, uh, because... 
she has no monsters that can hurt me. But yeah, I was saying, um, I just love the cards that can like change the tide of the game because you could be at a, like a severe disadvantage in a match, and then once you get one of those cards, you're like, you know, could possibly win. Now, I believe, you know, if you played officially, you couldn't use either card because I know definitely Cyberjar. I believe Cyberjar was definitely banned um, for like, you know, tournaments and everything. But if you played with your friends, if you played with your friends, it was okay. If they if they didn't mind. 2200 Haley. Okay. You didn't really do too much to me. You're probably in a, a level 1 again. There we go, Silver Fang. You know, when I was like when I was like 12 or something, I remember playing in like a tournament at a San Diego Comic-Con. I think that was around Let's see. Um about very clever. Nicely done. Eight, maybe nine years ago. You know, I didn't really do too well, but I loved playing because it, there were so many different people there that you could just, you know, once you lost, you could play for fun. And I remember spending like hours in the room playing while my dad was like kind of waiting for me. I mean, he, he came too, but he came, you know, for the convention because I wanted to go to the convention. And at the time, I was only 12. So I couldn't go by myself, um, but you know, he would walk around the Comic-Con and then he would come back and check on me and I would still be playing, you know, and he did that maybe three times. <laughs> and it was just such fun because I made so many cool friends, you know, I don't, I don't have any of their numbers and I don't remember their names, but I remember at the time we were all cool with each other. Well, you beat me fair and square. You've sure got some awesome cards. All right, guys, you actually aren't going to believe this. The game actually crashed on me, all right? So right after that, like, you know, last duel you saw with, I think, Haley, the game literally crashed. Like, I, like, couldn't do anything for, like, a couple minutes, and it just kind of froze on me and, you know, and said it had to close. But anyways, guys, we are back again with a last duel for the video. This is going to be the last duel for the video, and we're going to be taking on... Jess, we're gonna be taking on Jess for the last match and hopefully hopefully she has a much you know better deck to use against us I'm hoping she does because the first two were pretty easy um the underground so I'm assuming zombies I'm assuming zombies are gonna be in the deck or something you know kind of dark but it's a level one so I'm not expecting too much again we are a level four now you know with our Yugi deck I'm hoping we can get some different ones soon maybe in like the next couple videos or so um, I know that we can unlock different characters because we unlocked Yugi at the beginning of the game so I'm assuming we can get other people like Joey or Mokuba or Pegasus or you know anyone that actually dueled in the game and we are going second this time because that's what the computer says like always <laughs> oh okay so they had two spell cards this time I remember uh, I said that there was only like one maybe two in the deck but stop defense is a new one um so hey that's pretty cool she sounds very confident for some reason. The Dardic? How do you how do you say that? <laughs> Tell me how you say that, guys, because I don't want to pronounce that wrong the whole time. Uh, but it's not that strong. We still have monsters that are way stronger than their cards, so that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and use our spell card to get that uh, HP down or life points down. I don't know why I said HP. For some reason, I saw the LP, and that kind of you know just said to me HP. Um, but, okay, so that was our f opening move. We got two Watt Kids, so why don't we go ahead and put one out right now. I love this music. I, I, like, I don't think I'm ever going to put different music into this, uh, into this series because it's so, it's so, um, it's not, it's not corny. It's kind of catchy. It kind of reminds me of a mix between Pokemon and Digimon a little bit, um, when it comes to the music. I know it's way different than the, the Yu-Gi-Oh games that came out for like console. Remember uh, Kingdom of Roses or Rose Kingdom or whatever it was called? But it was like a PS2 game and like you were like in the world or something and they had like kingdoms and everything that you would have to, uh, you would have to, you know, defeat and conquer, I believe. It was a weird game. Um, but for PS2, that's all we had back then. So I can't knock it for what it was. Okay. Candle of Fate. So these are definitely different. At least I like the change, um, but they're too weak. I think I think we got off to like a really great start with the Yugi deck, and I'm assuming that everyone got this. But like, if this is the way the game is gonna be for the you know first couple levels, I don't mind it. 
I'm just hoping we get like you know stronger monsters from the packs that we will hopefully be opening in a couple videos because I still want to get a ton more gems to use you know for the video and not have it be like a boring you know summoning or pack opening video I'm, I got to think of names that I can you know make for the summoning videos because I don't I don't want to call it just a summoning video like it's Dokkan because it's not Dokkan oh, don't feel bad Jess Okay, but you should feel bad now. <laughs> God, that 1300 makes a real difference when you have only, like, you know, three monsters on the field and most of them are really weak. That really does make a difference to you, you know, how you're going to play. Yo, I really love how they change their mood when they're losing. You know, when they're winning, it's super confident, but when they're losing, it, it kind of, like, goes down. If it's oh, below a thousand, I knew it was gonna be below a thousand for some reason. Now is it the time to let up? My turn. Give me Dark Magician. Oh my God! <laughs> Heart of the cards, right there, guys. I said, give me Dark Magician before I pulled it, and I get it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and summon this guy out since I called him. Oh, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know if that was, you know, coincidence or what, but it works. I believe in the heart of the cards, guys. You should too. I know that was like super corny to say, but like seriously, that was heart of the cards, you know, if I had never seen it before. I've never had that happen to me in real life, but the game had it for me, so that's cool. Yo, I love how the music changes, like, you know, when the major monsters come out. Or it changed because they know this is going to be like the deciding attack right here. Either way, I love the change. It's over. Go, dark magician. And that music, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Did you guys ever see that? Um, It was a video that came out and it was like an augmented reality video. And it showed actual Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, you know, on on the video. Now, that could have been some, you know, just some fancy editing, but I think there is a game that's being worked on, you know, for VR or, like, augmented reality, and it looks like it's pretty cool. I can't remember the name of it, though. Um, wait, wait, what was this? Deck Slot Yami Yugi. Hmm. No clue what that is. No damage. I don't think we're ever going to get any damage on us in this, you know, the first few levels, so that's always going to be a bonus that we get. I'm gonna look up that like augmented reality uh, game for you guys. So next time I'll know what it is for sure, and this way you guys can check it out if you guys really want to know what it is. Um, you didn't have too many spells or traps. You had too many weak monsters, Jess. Just like I don't have enough spells or traps, you know. Oh, you know, let's go ahead and do one more if if, if I can find another one. Let's see. We get that kid looks the same. Oh wait, this guy right here. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Jay, I, did I beat you before? No, I don't think I beat you before. Okay, so renowned critters. So we got a bug type right here. Okay, this will definitely be the last one, guys. I don't want to make this video way too long. It's so fun getting these, like, you know, quick duels, you know, through. Now I can see why people enjoy this game so much. And I'm only two videos in, you know, about, I want to say about 35, 40 minutes into playing this game. And I'm having so much fun with it. We got stop defense, we got block attack, banner of courage. I remember that card. Let's duel to find out for sure. Oh, I love that confidence right there. But I remember banner of courage, like I said. Um so cool, we're gonna get that extra boost on our attack. I think both of us get it though. Yes, it's all no, it says I control, okay. So it's alright. He's not gonna get the boost, but I will. So we got we technically have a fourteen hundred attack point monster yeah 1400 we're technically gonna have a 1400 attack point monster when we attack with silver fang so right now he is currently our strongest monster on the field you can't be that confident bro i have a 1200 attack point monster on the field right now see i knew it should have kept it in defense mode you shouldn't even give me permission bro Feral Imp, okay, we're gonna put you out real quick. 
So we can do some extra damage right there. I'm counting on you. I summon a monster in attack position. I'll attack with Feral Imp and then I'll give the you know the final attack to Silver Fang. Yeah, because that's 1300, so that should be decent damage. That's like 700 right there. So yeah, that would do pretty good. It's about 2100 of uh, damage dealt to him, you know, within this battle phase right here. <laughs> that's not enough to beat you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw Dark Magician again, and I'm, then I'm gonna definitely win. You sound too cocky for me, Jay. Okay, you sound way too cocky. All right, 1,700 points. Don't think I'll go down that easily. If you have a Dark Hole, is Dark Hole banned? I can't remember. I'm not sure if it is or not because, you know, they change the meta all the time, you know, to kind of, you know, deal with the rules. What? Harpy Girl. Okay. That is definitely new. That's not a bug, though. I thought he was going to have bugs in his deck. Oh my god, the second time! Didn't I say I want to get Dark Magician again? Okay, we're gonna we're definitely gonna get this guy out on the field. I'm surprised the computer doesn't play defense. You need to start playing defense, bro. I think I summoned this guy way too much in this video. I really do. <laughs> And I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to skip the animations, too, because they don't get old. I hope they have one for Dark Magician Girl, though. Once she, I'm not sure if she's out yet. I'm pretty sure she's not. I think they just released uh, Magician of Black Chaos. But once Dark Magician Girl comes out, I can't wait to see her um, her battle animation. Or summon animation. It's over. Go, Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. Yeah! <laughs> But I sure had fun. It's not whether you win or lose. Win or lose is how you play the game. And for that, this was a great duel. <laughs> Always so optimistic. All right, let's see what we get. Do we get a lot more gems? Come on, come on. We leveled up and we got 15 gems. Okay, that's great. So I'm gonna add those to the box. Probably in the next video though. What's in the chest? What are these keys up for? Yellow gate key, okay. Gate key, so that's just a basic one. So is the yellow one better? I'm not really sure, I gotta check that out. Shucks, I lost. Maybe next time I should try a bluff by setting a spell card, if you have any, bro. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video because it was really a lot of fun for me. We got in, what, maybe four or five duels right there. So the video might be a little bit long, but that's okay. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. And also make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel because I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of these Duel Links videos just like my Dokkan Battle videos. And make sure to hit that notification bell on the top of my channel so this way you get all my videos sent straight to your devices once they're uploaded, alright? But guys, I had a lot of fun like I said, and I'll see you guys later.